you know, I lost. I feel so bad for our players. I mean, they have done everything we've asked them to do and uh, fought their butts off to uh, put us in a position to win the game here tonight. I'm really thankful for uh, Dion and uh, Jalil both, just the, the fight they had, determination they had to come back and, and uh, you know, get an opportunity to help us win. And uh, we certainly had our moments and had great opportunity there at the end. Uh, we're up with two minutes to go, and and uh, Missouri did a great job executing. And I think we fell down on, uh, you know, our half field player fell down on the deep sideline route there to Weiss. Uh, they're late, and uh, just in the second half again, I, I thought our guys again just fought with everything they had and uh, wasn't good enough and uh, we got to do a better job to help them and they converted way too many third downs for us on defense and obviously we got outscored 21 to 7 turnovers and nothing impacts a game like those and got to do a better job of taking care of the football uh, but uh, again just incredibly thankful and proud of our guys and again we as a staff just got to do a better job to help them somehow some way. Brent I feel like you've said multiple times this year it's about Oklahoma beating Oklahoma sometimes it felt like that happened a lot tonight is that concerning that it feels like that continues to happen throughout this season yeah it's always yeah absolutely yeah yeah Brad with Jackson I know turnovers have been an issue but do you is it almost becoming a major issue because the turnover bug really seems to bother them tonight in those first two series and of course the late yeah, turnovers. turnovers have always been a major issue uh they're big if you can force them on defense and uh, they get you beat on offense. Well, I'm talking specifically to Jackson with ball security. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Obviously, we got to do a better job there. Brent, Missouri really didn't ask Pine to do much until whenever in the fourth quarter, and, all, and then he sort of blossomed. What happened? What happened with him? In yeah, the fourth quarter. Yeah, he did a nice job. They ran the ball and got us off balance running the ball, and uh, that's to me that's what did it and you know their ability to they ran it some on third down uh as well found a couple of guys uh open and made a couple plays and in a, in a game like that it's going back and forth that's all it took it uh Weiss on the on the slant route uh you had good tight coverage and uh he catches it on a runner and uh, gets it uh close to midfield there and uh we're close getting you know, to get into the quarterback uh, just a hair late. And, uh, and again, he found, I believe it was, uh, maybe not Weiss, it was uh, three uh, on the sideline there on that deep uh, flood concept uh, where our, our deep defender fell down and um, the name of the game. And he had a nice play action. Uh, we lost our leverage to the tight end there uh, earlier. I believe that was in the fourth quarter as well. Uh, so just made a few plays um, when it mattered the most. Brent, how's uh, Dion doing? And was there any discussion about that possibly being targeting on that play? Yeah, they said it wasn't targeting. And uh, so he's under evaluation right now. You Brent. got uh, the running game going late that Xavier Dion came in. Yeah. Did he just fresh legs or something about him that got it going? Yeah, he was fantastic. Um, just kind of building off of what he showed uh, last week as well. And, uh, you know, he got in and did well early. And so uh, when he early snaps that he got in and then I just went with him because he was he was running through trash. He had good instincts, ran well behind his pads, broke a lot of tackles and really helped us, you know, move the ball down and score uh, there late. In tight games, you always look for different things. Special teams came through with you with the three field goals, the 56 yarder. Uh, the trick play. I know you did have the muff punt, but special teams really came through in that aspect of the game. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, overall, the, there was a lot that was uh, really good. Uh, again, the guys have done a really good job from a special team standpoint, you know, snapping and punting and kicking. Uh, you know, the, the return was a, you know, the muff, you know, those are real things, man. And uh, it's unfortunate. We've been pretty good with them uh, here since early in the year when uh, we had a few uh, muffs, and uh, you know we paid a price for it tonight. Brent, what what adjustments did they make at half offensively, and uh, uh, 
wondering, when you were up nine and three and went for the fourth down, uh, fourth and two, I think it might have been around the 40, uh, what the thinking was there? Yeah, well, again, just we felt we had something dialed up good for fourth and two there and uh, uh, really liked it. And we got exactly what we thought we would get. And uh, we don't do a good job of, you know, they, they ran, I think, a B-gap uh, plug stunt, and we got to come right off the, the, the behind of that. And uh, we went front side of it. So uh, didn't execute. And uh, you had another question? Well, I wonder what they did. Yeah, I thought um, I thought they I thought they did a good job of uh, sustaining a few drives with some of the run game. Uh, it, it was a little better uh, in the second half. Still, overall, uh, not great. But I thought they they did a good job just from a balance standpoint. Uh, we didn't tackle and and, and uh, punch gaps like we needed to consistently, and. Uh, you know, ultimately that allowed a few drives to extend there and allowed them to convert some third downs. I thought, again, they just got into a decent rhythm. Uh, not not great rhythm, but good enough, you know, to control some field position. Uh, we even enforced a, a couple of punts in those situations. Um, and then we the ball hits the ground. Just to, and it, I think we made the right decision not fielding the punt. It would have been a, a diving catch, and then it hits the ground, and it, uh, you know, takes another 15, rolls for another 15 yards or so and help them flip the field. Uh, but we were able to overcome that, you know, as well. But they just got better balance. Uh, the running backs ran hard for them. And, uh, and again, I thought they uh, ran the ball through it, you know, with more precision on third downs in the second half. Bruce, if you're starting quarterback is having uh... – Ball security issues and your backup quarterback has shown some of the same same tendencies. What do you think the answer is? Yeah, you just got to get better. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, it's unfortunate and you never like it. It affects everything that you do. And, uh, but you just you got to get better at it, you know, taking care of the ball. You know, so it's the basics. It's not anything that's uh, earth shattering. It's just we, we, we got to get better at it. You guys yeah. need to win one of these last two games to get to a bowl. Yeah. Is there any urgency to maybe take a look at Casey at this at stage? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, we're not there right now in this moment. Brent, I, know, the, Brent, I know injuries keep are, are piling up on that offensive line. What did you, what did you see from that group tonight? And then for Michael Parkman, how close was he maybe to getting into the Yeah, I thought, I thought there were some – I thought they did, you know, pretty well tonight. I think they – overall, uh, they performed uh, well enough in several – uh, drives to give us a chance to uh, to win, you know, when we're uh, we're not in a one-dimensional situation. Uh, you have to go back and watch the tape and really get a really good, solid evaluation uh, early in the first half. I thought we there were a few opportunities to throw the ball. We had some guys that were open. We squeezed the ball a little long, you know, and then they, they got a, a sack or two there uh, by us doing that. We had some really well-designed things that were – uh, a couple of drives early that were, were open, had a, a little wheel, uh, arc and wheel concept that was uh, open. And then we had uh, Burks early across the middle uh, that we end up uh, taking a sack on uh, as well. How close maybe was it to Michael Parkland to, to get him in again? Yeah. Really suited up for... Wasn't, uh, couldn't help us win. What was the thought process behind the fake punt there in the first half? Yeah. We we thought it would be there. Um, we got the exact look that we thought right there uh, at midfield, and um, and it was executed exactly how we thought it would be. Special teams was a concern last year. Just moving into this year, they seem to be one of the best units. What's it been like to see that improvement, and how much did you stress that in the offseason? Yeah, I mean we we talked about it a lot. Obviously, uh, you know, I spoke to the media about it, you know, a lot. And uh, we were a hundred and from something, you know, from a special teams efficiency a year ago. We had four fumbles, and uh, we missed uh, several kicks, and so that affects everything. Uh, you go from, you know, you're not going to be very good, and we just got better. Uh, you know, Luke Elzing has been fantastic. Uh, Zach Schmidt and uh, Tyler Keltner uh, were really good. And then we got several players that are in their second and third year, you know, playing in those units. Uh, Doug Deacon's done a fantastic job. The staff's done a good job. And our guys have, our players have really, uh, again, matured into the whole mindset of 
you know, winning the hidden yardage and uh, being aggressive with what we're doing, you know, in the special team. So, again, going in, I think we were tops in the SEC uh, going into this this week's game from an efficiency standpoint. And uh, overall, on the year, it's been pretty pretty solid. Brent, I think before the fumble, I think he just ran a, a, his own read play with Xavier. Was it, were you trying to break it, or were you thinking run the clock out, or and what made you change and decide to go to a throw there? Right at the end. Right at the end. Yeah. Well, again, we we had a time we had two timeouts prior to uh, you know the injury to Dion, and uh, they were in a really 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 light box, and so we had it up. Uh, to get an explosive run there, and uh, I mean they were really, really extra light in the box, so thought there could be an opportunity to 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 get a big run there and get them on their heels and get them out of that you know did, concept. Did you, did you consider just running it out after that, and, and instead of not instead of trying to throw your way to the other end of the field, just going to overtime? You're talking about when they when they forced the fumble and yeah. run it back in. Uh, you know, we wanted. We really felt that we could take the ball down the field and have a chance. We we've, we've been good. Our two minute all year has been really good, and particularly you don't, you don't see all of them, but we, we run ones against ones in practice, and really felt like we were uh, we had a good plan for that. I mean, we get a a couple of completions there. Uh, you know, with the timeouts we had in our back pocket, we could get the ball uh, past midfield, and we really felt like. Uh, Zach could kick it around 62, 63 yards. And uh, so, you know, with the time that we had on the clock, that's what we wanted to do. How's, J how's Javante doing? I know he didn't make the trip. Yeah, again, had a, again, tried to go here late in the week. It just wasn't responding. Brandon, Last I want, question. Brandon, I wanted to ask you, just how do you tackle this off week? What's the goal for this week with two more games to go? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not changing now. Uh, that's not real popular for anybody. Uh, to hear, but you go right back, keep your head down, eyes forward, go back to work, try to get better, find a way to get to uh, win number six and uh, take ownership and accountability of all of it, uh, coaches and players alike, and uh, handle the, from a schedule standpoint, handle it like we have, you know, some other uh, off weeks uh, this week. Thanks, Coach. All right.